it's, it's a pride that you will never understand because being a female, it's, it's not easy in any industry. Like, am I going to see the whole process today? Uh, you'll see all the process with, except for fermentation. So how many different codes or how many different, did you have anybody donating yes. eggs at this point? We're going to be taking something that won't have market acceptance to begin with, which is craft beer. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't exist, we're trying to create something brand new. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to be willing to take some risks, I think. It's getting thicker and thicker. If the government right now is saying made in Rwanda, and part of our niche is that this first craft brewery reflects that commitment to made in Rwanda, the more we use locally Could produced and other, the then, there, then there's yeah. uh, truth to our promise, right? Mm -hmm. I'm Fina. I'm from Rwanda. Uh, I need your help to achieve my, uh, my dream. I'll be able to open the first female brewery in Kigali. It will tremendously help me to empower the women less fortunate in Rwanda. Thankful and I appreciate the way Canadians have been responding to this. It's, uh, it's something which is very inspiring and I will definitely use the same spirit back home and beyond to, to help in any occasion that I will get.